let's go. What is up guys? Hope you're having a great day. It was a great day. If you're no other fan, well, depends what kind of other fan you are. I'm pumped. I, I am so pumped. I'm like uh, Seth Rogen and James Franco and uh, the interview when and Eminem turned out to be gay on their show. That's that's how good of a day I'm having right now. Eminem's gay on our show. Eminem's gay on our show. Oh my god, Camera two! Camera two! What is going on? No, but in all seriousness, this is this is sick. I, I think I mean this is a win-win. I honestly think the Oilers, I, I like this a lot. I think they can benefit from this. Uh Vander King, you know, for what he is, he's actually a really good player. Like he was on, point, uh, on pace last year to have his best year as a hockey player. He was drafted fourth overall 2009. Um, obviously, he uh, played for the Vancouver Giants earlier in his career, like way earlier, 2006, 7, and 8. Um, you know, he put up really good numbers his last year. He got 96 points in 61 games, so that's pretty respectable. And uh, always a tough guy, 89 penalty minutes. You know, so he, he, can, he can throw it down. He, you know, that's what I like about him. He, he fought reads. You know, he, he plays on edge, and the Oilers need that. Like. I think they're going to rally behind this guy, and uh, I can just see... And if anyone's going to fix Evander Kane, man, if anyone's going to humble Evander Kane, are you kidding me? It's obviously going to be Captain Humble McDavid. Um, yeah, like, honestly, Connor McDavid, he's the most humble guy ever, right? So he's going to be like, hey, you know, welcome. You know, he's going to be so accepting of him, and that's going to be sick to see. Um, that's what I'm thinking, at least. Um, and, yeah, as far as his stats go... All throughout his career, he's been just below point per game uh, player. What's uh, I don't know what his point per game uh, percentage is, but um, but yeah, last season he had uh, 49 points in 56 games, which yeah, that was on track for like 80 or so point, points. I'm pretty sure something like that. So pretty good, and uh, he's a feisty guy. So uh, yeah, I like this. Just so it's, it's just interesting. That's why I'm that's why I'm liking this guy. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do with Connor or Leon. I think he'd be really good with Leon, honestly. So um, it'll be interesting to see like where he he pans out and all that. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is I think this is just a win-win. You know, he he's he's such a distraction. I think the Oilers will just focus more on him than the Oilers losing. You know, so I think that might be good for the Oilers. So this is sick. You're an Oilers fan. You got to be pumped about this. Oh, oh, oh. I think he brings a lot to the table. Um, you know, he can hit, he's physical, um, you know, he's a little bit of a goal scorer. He's had a 30 goal season and, uh, you know, he's, he's looked pretty good, um, you know, his whole career, despite all the conflict he's had, you know, early in his career, <laughs> as early as um, Winnipeg, his second team, well, first team pretty well he's ever been on. It, it, it's interesting. I can see, I can see both sides, like reasons for both sides, but uh, for personally, personal reasons, uh, I think this is a win. I cannot wait to, you know, and who knows, maybe he would be really, really good with Connor. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see, and uh, it just brings a lot more potential, or like it brings way more to the table. Like their top six, you know, it should be on paper, like competing with some of the, the best top six in the leagues, uh, in the league. So that's that's my thoughts, you know, you've got, you're probably gonna have uh, Yessi's up there, Yessi, and you know, he's looked really good lately. Um, he's probably going to be playing, you know, it'd be interesting if they had Yessi, Dreisaitl. Yeah, I don't know if there's so much you can do because then there's Nuge too. So you can, you're not going to have three lefties on the first line and Kane, um, David and Nuge, but I don't know. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'd love to hear them. Boy, this fans, this is sick. And uh, yeah, um, where are we at here? Just four minutes? I feel like I've been talking forever. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, um, what else am I going to say? A few moments later. Now I'm going to go uh, pray for the Oilers to win tonight, and uh, as you should as well, because they're going to need it. Because <laughs> uh, Nationals is a pretty good team. So, yeah, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it now. I think I'm going to end it now. Yeah, I'm going to go play some chill while I wait for the game. So, have a good night, guys. Take her easy. What was that? Did I do a Have a good night, guys. Take her easy. Let's go, Oilers.